Now going back to pipelines, what essentially we have is a series of steps that are going to be applied to our data set. But what if we have in our data set different columns or different features need to undergo a different transformation process? This is often going to happen because in our data set we might have numerical data, we might have categorical data, we might even have text data. And all these, all these different types of data need to undergo a separate transformation process. So we need a way in which we have our data set that comes in, <clears throat> different transformers work on different attributes or features of our data set, it applies a transformation, and then it gets combined through all these separate transformation steps. In other words, we need a way we can apply some sort of transformations in parallel as opposed to in series. Let's go ahead and illustrate that. Perhaps we can better explain what's going on by sketching a diagram. So we have a data set that's going to come in. <clears throat> and let's say part of this data undergoes this transformation process. Let me just call it T1. Then might be undergo a separate transformation process called T2. And maybe a third one called T3 any arbitrary number of parallel transformation steps. Then after it's undergone these three separate transformation steps that occur in parallel, we like to, of course, combine them all together and then have that be fed to maybe a predictor here to make predictions. Train a predictor to make predictions. So we need a way to do these steps in parallel, which is different than pipelines, which does everything in series. We can actually do that in scikit-learn. It's called feature unions. So what the feature union is going to hold is hold transformers in parallel. It's going to undergo the transformation process in parallel and combine the results at the very end. Hence the name feature union. It's going to unionize the different features that the transformers are working upon. So in fact, using pipelines, which are series, you can think of this constructing a workflow in series, along with feature unions, which does construction in parallel, we can use feature unions and pipelines to construct an arbitrary complex workflow with different steps, different uh, parts of the pipeline, things that are going in parallel. A more very complicated workflow can be all achieved and all encapsulated using a combination of feature unions and pipelines. So that's why I find it's very useful to construct a diagram of what's going on so you can understand what you need for the different steps. Do you need a pipeline? Do you need feature unions? And how to best combine them to encapsulate your entire workflow to go from raw data so you can train a predictor and you can make easily make predictions and use your model just by using, by encapsulating all the steps into one estimator. All right. So let's see this in action. So for this example here, we're going to best sketch it out here. So here comes our data set. And then in one transformation process, we're going to scale our data, scale. Then we're going to apply something called PCA, which is a type of transformer that looks to devise a different set of features or characteristics for a data set. We'll discuss what really is going on with PCA in a future lecture, but consider it a second step, a second transformation step that we must undergo, that we need to undergo for this workflow. But at the same time, we also want to use a step called, a process called selector, select K best. And that's the transform that's going to select the K best features of, based upon some sort of metric. So this is a K best here. PCA is a dimension reduction technique, by the way. So we have in our data set, if I recall correctly, eight features. With this PCA, we're telling it to, in this case, we're going to say, give us four features. Go ahead and construct with those original eight features, give us a 
a, a different set of features, we're going to choose the four best features that best describe the variance of our original data set. Like I said, the what's exactly going on isn't the point of this lecture. It's just that this is a transformer step that's going to yield for us four features. And k-best is going to pick the two best features, because we're going to set it uh, to pick two for this transformation process. So out, so what's going to come out here is a data set. We call it x of t of 1 with four features. And out here, this would be a data set x of t of 2 with two features. So we, un, we, want, we want to make sure our data set undergoes this parallel process and then it gets combined such that we have a data set with four plus two features, a total of six features. And that's going to be all done by a feature union. So let's look at that syntax for feature unions. All right, so for let's go look at here. So we construct, let's create those objects. Let's create the scalar transformer, the PCA transformer, and our select K best transformer. Notice we have one pipeline. It represents this top branch here. It's going to apply the scaling, then the dimensional reduction via PCA. We want to combine the result of this transformation process, these two steps, with the result straight from the selector. And that's going to be done via feature unions. So we import feature unions. The syntax is very similar to pipelines, so we pass it a list of steps. Notice the order of these steps no longer matter because the process is in parallel. So we just call the first step, we call it the PCA pipe. So this step there and the second step is the selector. As I said, as I said before, it doesn't matter the order because this is done in parallel. Those two outputs from those two transformation processes get combined together, hence named feature union. So this is all one step in our pipeline. So now we have a, this is our predictor here, call it P. So notice we have multiple, so we have three transformers in total along with our predictor, but we're going to combine all these transformation steps by your feature union because that itself is now going to be considered a step in our workflow. And then we can go ahead and combine this new step, what's circled in red, with our predictor. Oh, a little hard to draw there because I'm running in a space. Let me see if I can zoom out. Okay, so let me just rewrite this, what's going on. So we went from all these steps, so now we have, with the feature union, we we'll call it F and predictor. And this gets combined. using a pipeline. So notice we can make rather complicated workflows. Because at first, we combined these two parts here, and I can perhaps highlight it, let me highlight it in gold. This, these two transformers in sequence, in series, we encapsulated via a pipeline. And then we used feature union to combine this pipeline with this transformer. So that's circled in red, so that's a new step a new transformer that combines this entire process. We call it F here. And we wrap it all together in one final pipeline. So that's why I said writing out these diagrams, at least for me, helps me visualize the process, what's going on, and understand how do I best construct feature unions, how do I best use feature unions and pipelines to encapsulate the entire workflow. So make sure you understand what's going on, how you can go and use combination feature unions and pipelines for a rather complicated workflow. So if I do my math right, if I count this all together, we have a total of four estimators, three transformers, and a predictor. That's all encapsulated into this one object called fit. Let's call, invoke fit. Have the data pass through the entire workflow. And let's go ahead and use the fitted pipeline, the fitted encapsulated process to make predictions. What we're also going to do here is we're going to look, investigate the resulting shapes of our data set from the transformation process. So notice here, is that originally our data set had eight features, but through the transformation process, we only have six features. And that's because PCA, this transformer step, since we set n components equal to four, are only going to keep, or only use four components, four features. In our select k best, we set it to keep two features. So four plus two is six. So notice that what comes out 
the data that comes out of this feature union has six features as opposed to the original eight. So that's what we do there to display to show you how we went from eight to six features. And I said before, let's not bog, uh, bog down and get, uh, get too worried about what's going on with these transformers. We'll talk about them in future lectures, what is going on when we use something like PCA.